Tumaga sa inyong lahat. Ako si Jane Clarence Tauro. Nasa inyong harap. At Mark Ando Radiances, ang inyong taga-ulat. At ito ang dokumentaryo tungkol sa kagandaan ng mundo. Alam natin marami pang bagay-bagay sa ating mundo na hindi natin nalaman. At mga lugar na hindi natin nakakalain ang kagandahan nito. Tutuklasin at ibabahagi natin ito. Kasama sa itatalakay natin ang mga gawain ng mga tao na nakakasama sa mundo. Ang ating tanakayan ay nahati sa tatlo. Una, ang mundo. Ipakita mo ang kagandahan mo. Pangalawa, The Destroyer. Ang huli, let them hear you. Many years ago, when the solar system appeared and the Earth was the third planet near to the Sun, the Earth is the only planet where different organisms live. Because Earth has oxygen, which is one of the most important thing for the people or other organisms to live. Earth is divided in three main parts which are grass, mantle, and core wherein the core was divided into two parts which is outer and inner core. The earth is consists of four spheres, the hydrosphere, biosphere, lithosphere, and atmosphere. But the scientists discovered new sphere which is belong to hydrosphere and named cryosphere. Ngunit ang ating pag-uusapan ay kaano nga ba kaganda ang ating mundo? Tayo ay napapaligiran ng mga puno, karagatan, at iba pang bagay na makikita sa ating mundo. The Earth is also classified as a special planet because it has a liquid water, plate tectonics, and an atmosphere. Animals, plants, humans, and other organisms are the other reasons why Earth is great. But the really people make the Earth great. 
let's move to the second chapter that we call the destroyer. Million of years came, and then a lot of people born. But do we really deserve to stay here? We didn't know if those activities we did can affect our planet. I will show you what may our planet looks like if we didn't stop those activities. I will show you different activities that can harm our planet. There's so many people activities that can harm our planet but I will show you the top 3 most common people activities. First on the list is overpopulation. Many people born that cause overpopulation. As time goes by, the number of people living here in Earth may increase, and its estimated number may reach 10 billion of humans. As the number of people increase, the quantity of shelters for humans will be decreased until it reaches zero. So how can overpopulation affect the earth? One of the basic needs of humans is food. And if the number of people continue to increase, the supply of our food may be depleted. Next on the list, pollution. Overpopulation can also cause pollution because as the quantity of people increase, the more trash may be formed. Mas maraming tao, mas maraming basura. Littering, one of the causes of pollution. Throwing your garbage in places like rivers, mountains, etc. can pollute the surrounding. As time goes by, more trash will be thrown by humans. And if we continue that kind of activity, the places where trash is being placed will not have enough space for more trash and in that case they may think that instead of collecting it they will burn it that can affect or destroy our atmosphere lastly deforestation as time goes by many people born and they need habitat to live mas maraming ipapatay yung bahay mas maraming kagamitan ang kakailanganin one of these is wood, and wood was came from a tree. Kaya naman mas maraming bahay, mas maraming puno ang maaaring maputol. And every time we cut trees, we should replace it by planting more trees. Why we should do that? Because if we don't do reforestation, our forest may destroy. The trees may be depleted and we will not have any supply of woods. Ngunit, alam natin na may mga tao pa rin ang patuloy na nag-aalaga sa ating kapaligiran. Many programs, activities, and other things that can keep our earth clean. But what if other people won't do it? Can we still save the earth? in many ways but before we start let us answer this question first on why do we need to protect earth the reason why we need to protect earth and love the earth because first of all earth is where we belong and we live in second reason is without earth where do we live now where do humans stay at so in short we need to protect our planet because the planet earth is the only habitable among the solar system. Earth doesn't need us actually because without humans, planet Earth can survive because it will stay clean and green the way it is from the start. So what will we gonna do to protect our planet? It is simple. We just need to follow and avoid throwing trash everywhere and plant more trees and avoid illegal things like cutting trees and illegal mining because those things can be harm to us not only for our planet but also for us instead of cutting those trees start planting more of them so we can have a lot of oxygen that humans need the most so bago tayo magtapos magbibigay ako ng konting advice para sa inyo 
um, lagi nating tatandaan na dapat panatilihin nating malinis ang ating kapaligiran dahil tayo rin naman ang makikinabang dito. So, kung hindi natin aayusin ang ating kapaligiran, ang ating mundo, tayo rin ang maaapektuhan sa mga pwedeng masamang mangyari. Di ba, partner? Yes, partner. So, yun po, ano, bago tayo matapos sa ating documentary, nagsasabi lang ako ng mga bagay upang makatulong sa ating kapaligiran at makatulong ito sa ating mundo. So, ano sa lahat, ay ang paggamit ng 3 R's, ang reduce, reuse, and recycle. And pangalawa, sumali ka sa mga tinatawag na cleaning community sa inyo, sa lugar nyo. Dahil malaking tulong yun. And pangatlo, huwag magsayang ng mga tubig. Dapat kung ano lang yung kailangan nyo, yun lang. Muli, ako si Jane Clarence Sem Tauro. Ako si Mark Anto Ori DNSS. At ito ang dokumentaryo tungkol sa kagandaan ng mundo.